So how often do you see coxifemoral luxations in dogs and cats in your practice? If you're like me, you see them all the time. As we all know, the success of closed reduction is, is somewhat unpredictable with about half of dogs that have closed reductions for craniodorsal luxations having recurrence of the luxation. They all require emer slings and emer slings are associated with a lot of complications like uh, vascular injury, pressure sores, those types of things. And so we try to avoid them when we can. We have a solution for you that has excellent results in dogs and cats with coxifemoral luxations, and that solution is toggle pinning. Um, it has a better clinical outcome than femoral head and neck ostectomy in dogs with, and cats with coxifemoral luxations, and in fact they return to normal or near normal function in most, ca most cases. Basically the way that a toggle pin works is that you're replacing the function of the round ligament um, and it can be used either alone or in conjunction with an ideal, ideal femoral suture. And when you use it alone or in combination, you have success rates ranging between 85 and 95%. Um, the other big benefit of a toggle pin fixation is that they can wait there immediately after surgery. And that's really important, particularly in dogs and cats that have other injuries in other limbs affected. So um, it can also be performed with minimal uh, specialized equipment in most primary care vet practices. I'm Charles Kuntz and I'm one of the surgeons at Vet Dojo and I'm here to talk to you about uh, a new e-learning module that we have which is called toggle pinning uh, repair of coxifemoral luxations from tar start to finish. And if this is something that's interesting to you please click on the link in the description of the video below.